Hi, my name is Osama Jabbar. We will cover Excel checkbox in this video. We will cover three topics. Insert and edit the checkbox. How to use the checkbox in dynamic filters. How to use the checkbox in dynamic charts. Before we do, please press the like button, subscribe, and click the notification button to get our latest. At first, you have to go to File, then to your account, go to Microsoft 365 Insider, and make sure that you are subscribe to the beta channel and install the update after that you will see the checkbox in the insert menu to insert the checkbox just select the cell and click on the checkbox or highlight all of the cells at once and hit the checkbox once all the cells are highlighted Now this is how you check the checkbox by mouse click and please note the value will be true for the checked boxes and false for unchecked boxes. I'm using the fill functionality in Excel to fill in all the column instead of clicking one by one. So it's treated like just a number or a text. Now if I go to the home menu, I can highlight and I can highlight and change the font size which will make the checkbox bigger and I can change the color as well. I can change the color of unchecked checkboxes to red for instance. or use the format painter so it's treated just like any object I will add a new column to calculate the absences of the student. I will use count if. If you know the syntax, you can just type in equal count if and write in the criteria. but if you don't know that you can go to functions search for the count if and go now you can find it click ok the range, I'm counting how many absences in a week. So I highlight the dates, the criteria, I want to count the absences, which is false.
and hit the OK button. Now I have zero abscesses the first cell, but now it's counting. I'm centering the numbers to see them better. Now, see if I uncheck one box, the number is changing, which is which means that it's dynamic. See how neat this is. Or you can go to filter and data and filter on Saturday, for instance, how many fourths, which means how many absences. It will filter only the students who were absent on Saturday. Just use like any, you know, a regular filter. Let me use the filter functionality. I need to count Saturday absences. So I will go to functions and search for the filter functionality. It's okay, hit okay. Now it's asking me about the array. The array is the range of the names. And then I want the value to be false during Saturday. So I highlighted Saturday equal to false. Here, I don't want it to return anything, just blank. So I will just put nothing inside the quotations. I leave them blank with inside the quotations. Then I hit OK. Now see the magic working. Let me scroll down, see the names appeared. Down at the filter. The names of the students who were absent on Saturday. Now let me try to check and uncheck as if I am marking the students absent and present. See the list is changing. Now I don't have any, I only have one absent now. Now nobody's absent. See, it's dynamic. This is really neat. Before we had to do, a, you know, a workaround to get this result. Now, let me delete. See, I deleted from the keyboard. Nothing was deleted. The checkboxes are still there, as you see. To delete the checkboxes, You need to highlight all the cells with the check boxes and go to the home menu and go to clear functionality to clear all. Now they are clear. I don't have any check boxes. We will create now dynamic charts. Now we will have some fun. Come, come on in. Now we will have some fun. First of all, you have to create two identical charts. The one on the bottom has no values. Now let me insert the check boxes here first. On the first row. Now I need to enter some formula here. In week one, I go to home and use functionality. And I will use Fs, Fs. The logical test is in the cell I need to have a true value. This true value will show the chart. Now you will see in a few. Then I want this range which is week one. To be included. See, if I check the check box, the numbers appear below. If I remove it, they are removed. Now, I have to copy the formula 
to all weeks. Now it says not available because the check boxes are not checked. Now they are checked. Let me center the total column. I'm using the format painter. using the format painter uncheck see the number disappear is it this neat let me try to insert the chart now i highlight the whole table go to insert and choose the 3d column chart this is one of my favorite charts let me let me try to use it uh -huh. see the chart there is nothing there, it's some sort of blank chart with the legend and everything, but there's nothing there because the check boxes are not checked. Let me try the first one. Oh my god, see that the magic started now, it's displaying the first week, the second week, and so on. If I show the total, I remove it, check and uncheck, which means it is dynamic. As I check and un uncheck the, but as you know, this is still, as you know, this still needs some work. You need to format it. So I will change the title for now, and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.